there's this idea that you know you, you travel so you enrich yourself and you see different cultures. But I have to say, if you're starting to travel and your attitude is all wrong, you're going to come back and it's still going to be wrong. I've been lucky enough that I've been able to travel a lot, visit, visiting, I don't know, 60, 70 countries already. It's travel photography, travel filmmaking. So you have to go out and find these stories. But what's been interesting this past few years, I've been really traveling around the Philippines and the possibilities here are endless. I usually find myself with farmers or fishermen these communities I find fascinating, and I think right now these local communities, especially in the areas that aren't so developed, are really feeling the impact and benefits of tourism and travelers. So I think that's a story I've been trying to pick up on in the past several years, is not just the destination itself, but how is it that travel and tourism is changing these small communities, and what the small communities have to offer to the traveler, because it's unique. When you talk to foreigners, and their first contact is sort of islands like Koron. They always say the people are so nice, the people are so magical. So that's what I want to get to. Why, why is that? You know, why don't they say that about Vietnam or other Asian destinations? They, with the Philippines, everybody always says the people are so wonderful. How do you capture that on film? I mean, that's, that's the challenge. I think you follow that by being genuinely interested in the stories they have to tell. Because everybody likes to tell a story. The question we came to Shaga with really is that what lies behind the curtain of paradise? I've been lucky enough to come to Shergao maybe once every year for the past 10 years and I've seen it change slowly, building by building, a new paved road here, a new paved road there, more and more people. And from what I've been hearing from the friends I have on the island, things have gotten to a point where change is inevitable, but they are trying to control that change, to try and steer the development into a certain direction try and preserve some of the magic that Chernow has. There are many, many places where things are changing and they're changing fast. And I think that's what we'd like to explore in, in this show, in this program, in that what is our impact as travelers? What can we take home? Because usually that's the question, what do you take home from your trip? More importantly, what do we leave behind when we travel around the 